Hey everybody, my name is Nick and in today's video, we're gonna explore Shopify variant meta fields. Have you ever noticed that when you are customizing your product variants, you can only add one image at a time? If I click into this variant, you'll see you can add it here. And sure, you can add multiple product images, but then we get this behavior where we're showing all the variants at once. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we can create custom variant meta fields and then by doing that, we'll also include some logic to where we only show the selected variant images at one time. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is go into our settings and actually create these variant meta fields. So if we go into settings and then we go into custom data and then we go into variants, you'll see that I already have these two created. So it's really simple. All you have to do is click Add Definition and give them the names. I gave them the name of Variant Color and Variant Images. Now the reason for two is the first one is what we're going to use to actually color this button to be the color that we want of the variant. And then the second variant, uh, excuse me, the second meta field is the actual images themselves. So once you've created this, now we can close this, go into our products, and select the product that we want to customize. And you'll see that if I click into any of these variants down at the bottom, I have these meta fields here. So I've selected what the background color is going to be for this variant, as well as the images that I'm going to show. All right, so once we have that, now we can move on into the code. Okay, so now that I'm switching over to the code, I'm going to open up this product media gallery .liquid file and I'm going to scroll to approximately line 91 where you'll see that uh, in this UL tag, we're looping through the product media, which is the images. And I'm going to actually change this logic here. So looping through the media, the product media, which is all the images associated with this product, I'm going to loop through first through the product variant. So I'm going to do a for variant in product .variants. Oops. And one last thing is I forgot to add an S on this custom variant images. So I was able to add that. And if we save, we should see, perfect, all three of our uh, black variant image shirts are showing. However, if we toggle this, it's not gonna do anything. And that's because we haven't set up these variant selectors yet. So let's do that. So all we need to do is open up product variant options dot liquid and then we just need to look for this label which is where we output uh, those buttons and I'm just gonna change a few things here mm -hmm.
Okay, perfect. So what we've done here is we've added the variant ID here uh, by using this for loop index, which we're being looped through currently. And then we're adding a class that we're gonna use to access via JavaScript later. And we're setting um, the background is the style of that variant. So back in the customizer, if I open this up, uh, and we will see this variant value here at the bottom, that is the color that we are trying to apply here. Okay, so if we save this, hopefully it should work. All right, perfect. So you can see that now we have the black, white, and gray colors that look awesome, except you know some minor styling issues with the color versus the background. And uh, now we can hook this up so that it will work via JavaScript. So I'm gonna put the JavaScript within this product media gallery, and I'm gonna put it outside of this UL because I don't want this to be in the for loop, otherwise it's gonna be created several times. All right, so what we're doing here is we are uh, adding the event listener to the pro to the variant buttons so that when those are clicked, it's gonna fire this swap images function. And this swap images function is just gonna loop through those images we have, and it's only going to show if it is the same variant ID that we put, that attribute we put on the uh, image right here. And if not, it's gonna hide it. So let's save this and see what it looks like. And before it starts working, I realized I made one mistake here. I'm using document.querySelector in both places. And we need to use query selector all because we're gonna grab all those elements and loop through them. So now if I save that and refresh, you'll see that I am successfully displaying the product images, the variant images rather, and only those variant images and they're being matched uh, on this toggle. Now obviously this could be styled much better and there's a lot of work to be done, but this should give you the basis for how you can create variant meta field images that you can um, conditionally and dynamically display to match your variant option buttons. I hope you've enjoyed this and please let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll see you next time.